Wild weather lashing the state has turned deadly. A 49-year-old woman dying after being crushed by a fallen tree at Maryborough in central Victoria. The damaging winds and driving rain are now lashing Melbourne, with emergency services being swamped with calls for help. Ironically, it follows our driest start to a year on record. Lisa Andrews is braving the elements of Docklands. Lisa. Pete, winds of more than 100 kilometres an hour lash the state today. Right now here in the city, things have actually calmed down quite a bit compared to what they were just a short time ago. It was absolutely horrible here in the city. Rain bucketing down for almost an hour. Now the SES was forced to respond to more than 400 calls for help during the storm. 17,000 homes lost power. So far we know of three serious injuries to people who were hit by trees during those strong winds and one of those was a woman and she was taken to hospital fighting for her life. When the front moved in the city was suddenly dark and dangerous. Winds were gusting up to 117 kilometres an hour and only the brave would dare to attempt a barbecue on the banks of the Yarra. If only they were privy to a radar. Throughout the day, the rain rolled in across the state. Areas in the west and central parts of Victoria bore the brunt first, with trees and property damage widespread. And it's only going to get worse. SES crews are on full alert for a long night, given the destruction this front caused in Adelaide earlier today. Incredibly, winds caused this truck to overturn. Power poles were strewn across roads and residents were forced to batten down the hatches. Some locals, though, chose to ignore coastal wind warnings here. Regardless of the big dump we can expect here tonight, much more rain is needed to fill our dams. The Bureau says the start of 2009 has been our driest on record, worst than our leanest year, which was back in 1967. Not only is it likely to be dry for the next three months, but probably the three months after that. So it's set to be a dry winter overall, but it certainly will not be a dry week. These wet, windy and dangerous conditions are forecast again tomorrow and right up until the weekend. So we could be in store for even more damage and that's forced the SES to warn us tonight to secure all loose items around our homes and to not park any cars under trees. So Pete, that we're being told that the safest place tonight will be indoors.